Is Kiev, is Mr Zelensky planning to take the Crimea back by force? So we know when Mr Zelensky came to power, he was committed to negotiating with Russia to reclaim the Crimea. And now, during the war, we've seen him attacking Crimea quite effectively. In one sense, all this is very good. In one sense, you know, all praise. But in another sense, you have to analyse what is being said by Russia's apologists. Among them, Mr Medvedev today. Now, Mr Medvedev said that, uh, well, he assured us that Russia has no intention of using nuclear missiles unless Russia herself is attacked, unless Russian territory is attacked. Now, Russia regards the Crimea as Russian territory. Ukraine regards it as territory which was seized by Russia in 2014. And in 2015, I think, I remember going to teach in my university and there was a big celebration in the main body of the university, which is in the centre of Moscow. And next to the rector's office, uh, that's a sort of senior administration, uh, there was a great big relief map on the wall. And I was quite surprised to see that the relief map was all marked out as Russian. And particularly that bit which had been formerly part of Ukraine. So the territory leading down to Crimea was marked out as Russian. And I thought that was very interesting because it was only a very short space of time since it had been taken. So I think we have to be very, very careful about this particular scenario because it's a dangerous one. Getting back the Donbass is actually far less controversial in a sense. Getting back the Donbass is about taking back something that has not yet been claimed as Russian. But Crimea is perhaps a different matter. I, for my part, would love to see Ukraine taking back Crimea. I, for one part, for my part, would love to see Ukraine taking back the Donbass. I don't think I'd like to see it going any further. And uh, if we could then get to a point where there is a proper resolution and peace accord and Russia could stick to it, which I think probably would mean a change in authority in Russia, that would be tremendous. But to get from the point where we are now to that point then is a long ask and I think may well be a very long journey. In the meantime, as Boris said, I think we have to be prepared to play our part and we have to tighten our belts and recognise that fuel is part of the weapons uh, at Mr Putin's disposal and they are his weapons because we have given him that opportunity. We have behaved very foolishly. There are many things we have not done. Uh, we've not sorted out proper insulation. We've become too dependent on one fuel supply. Our fuel companies are appallingly managed, and so on. There's lots we could have done in the last few years. There's lots we could have done in the last year during this crisis, and we haven't. I think now the government needs to step in and sort out the problem much as it sorted out the Covid problem and then leave it all to be resolved later.